Think our new Sydney scenes is not for you? Watch this. Hello, my friends. Welcome back. If you're new here, hi. Mandy Shirley, Creative Memories Advisor in Southwestern Colorado. Today, I am working with the Sydney Scenes paper, which is beautiful. I have never been to Sydney, but I am going to use it, and you're going to love it. Um, don't forget to head here if you need more fun. I have my no longer available products, which I'm going to be updating in the next week or so. I have registration for my workshops and retreats. Some have Zoom options. I have no um, pre-made scrapbook pages, digital products, and more information on joining my team. They're paying you a dollar right now to join. Plus you get some fun silicone mats to use in your, in your scrapbooking. So let me know if you want more info. Um, yeah, if you need Sydney, go here. You can also find a link to my Creative Memories website. Don't forget to look for my smiling face at checkout. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so I know I've been talking to you guys about not being stuck on the names of collections, and I just wanted you to see how pretty this paper is. This is the Sydney Scenes. Look at these pretty flowers. And then just a nice neutral beige color. And then we have this nice water color. And then this really pretty water background, scene background. And then we have some seagulls. And then this is the only piece of paper that is Sydney specific. It does say Australia and Sydney and blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to use this side today. We're actually going to build on these seagulls. I do have pictures of my time at the beach in Virginia. And I've already cut them to the size I want. We're gonna have some fun though. So the first thing I want to do is, I'm gonna use this blue to make some backgrounds. We're gonna do four and three quarter by 12. Four and three quarter. So that's four plus three of these little train tracks. Four and three quarter. I'm cutting from the bottom up to hopefully have a straight cut. And then I need a one by 12. And then I think I need two, two and a half inch pieces, which I have plenty. So I'm gonna do two, two and a half. Oops. I think um, this is what I'm gonna use for photo mats on a few things. And then I need some little strips that are only a quarter inch. And this is scrap. Um, quarter inch, we need one, two, three, four if we can. This is one of the coordinating cardstock colors. This is the avocado, which I love. So we're gonna try and get four of these. And I think what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of repo on here so that it'll stick for me since it's a tiny piece of paper. But you know how conservative I am with my paper. And I need one more. Quarter inch is the width of your mat. Your gray mat, your gray cutting mat. All right, I'm pretty sure that I'm not gonna be able to use this piece anymore. I'm gonna wipe off that adhesive that I put on there. So I'm gonna throw that piece away. I think it's probably time to switch my mat. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I don't know if I told you guys, but I packed my trimmer in my checked bag on the way home from Virginia. And I had a bag of Epsom salt in my bag as well <clears throat> from my massage that I got. And yes, we have that much fun at team retreats. Um, anyways, 
the bag of Epsom salt exploded all over my scrapbooking stuff. So I'm still struggling with getting all the Epsom salt out of my trimmer. It's really lovely. All right, these two and a half inch pieces, they're gonna go across the bottom down here. I'm just gonna go ahead and tape those down. And actually, I think I'm gonna show you another page that I made with the Sydney scenes that you're gonna love. I'm kind of regretting the way I cut that because my waves look like they're going the wrong direction, but it's okay. I do want it to match up or be close. And then we need some of these little strips along the bottom of each. You can use repo for this or your glue pin. So pretty. Yes, you probably could have welded this together if you wanted to save more paper, but I thought this would be easier this time. Oops, went a little crooked. And then this big piece is gonna go over here. And now my waves look right. Perfect. And our inch piece is gonna go on the other side. And then of course, we're gonna do our little avocado strip along both of those. Oops, put you in the dark for a second. This piece looks like it got cut a little bit crooked. But it's fine. No one's gonna notice. Okay, so there's the base of our page done. Now we're gonna add some photos. Um, I do need some four and a quarter by two and three quarter. So let's see how wide this is. This is four. So let's cut it at two and three quarters. Oh, that's so nice, cuts like butter. And then we're gonna cut it four and a quarter. I actually need four of these. So we need two more. Two and three quarter by four and a quarter. I need two more of them. And then I think I want a four and a quarter by six and a quarter. So I'm gonna line my little housing up at eight and a quarter, which means my blades at seven and a quarter. Oh, wait, seven and a quarter, which means my blades at six and a quarter. And cut up and then I'm gonna flip my paper and line it up at six and a quarter and cut from my cutting line up. And lastly, trying to decide if I want, ooh, we need two more four and a quarter by two and three quarters. Let's cut those, I need two of those. And then we'll see what kind of paper we have left. Forgot, we need actually six of these. Four and a quarter by two and three quarter. All right, and then we have this chunk left. Let's do three and a quarter by three and three quarter. See if I can get two of those. I can't. I have a six and a half by five and three quarter chunk left. 
So I might just set this aside for now and be good with it. All right. Next thing I want to do is get my handy dandy corner rounder, wherever that may be. And I want to, these four and three quarter by, what I tell you? Four and a quarter by two and three quarter. I want to notch them with the corner rounder, just like that. And two of these are going to go right here for my tidal area. Oh, you know what else I want to do? Just thought of something else. And then I'm going to notch all of these as well. This one is going to go right here with a picture on it. We're going to make these look like little tickets, I think. I hope. Maybe I should be cutting them before. Oh well, I already started. I'm gonna try and do two at one time to save time. Oh yeah, it works. And then I wanna do all these pictures cause they go with Love our corner rounder because of this. More than one option. These are some jets flying overhead since there's a base at Virginia Beach. It's kind of cool to listen to them. They're pretty loud. Pine cone I found on the beach. Little taste of home on the beach. I thought that was cool. And of course the seagulls. Okay, now I want to get the postage stamp blade for my trimmer. Done with the corner rounder. And I want to remember, I'm going to use a piece of scrap. I want it to look a certain way. Okay, that's the way we want. Remember, we're trying to get this ticket look going. So I'm just cutting off a little bit since they're already the size I want. I'm gonna do that to all the pictures that I just corner rounded and all the white pieces that we just, I guess it's not corner rounded, inverted. Oops, well, that worked. You don't want a lot to cut off because I'm gonna do more than one at a time to save time. Cutting off a little bit. Let's see, we got four more, I think. This is gonna look so good. So yeah, if you don't have this trimmer, you're missing out. Not only does your mat, um, to wear item so you can replace it, but you have four settings on it, but you also have these fun blades. Okay. All the pictures and all of those are done. So now we can finish building here. 
Oh, I better put my blades up so I don't lose them. It's the other handy thing about this trimmer. Your blades store right underneath. All right, so some of these are going, actually all of these are going on white, but two of the white ones are for title blocks and not, and they go over here. Are you loving it? I'm just gonna stagger them. I do want these to look the same. Perfect. So all I did was cut these at four by two and a half and then added a quarter inch to both um, measurements to make the mat. Four by two and a half and then four and a quarter by two and three quarters. Make sense? This flower paper is really pretty too. And we have this picture going there, which I hope fits because I don't know. Oh yeah, we could cut some off. So this was a cell phone photo, so I had to trim it oddly so that nobody's face got cut off. So my four by six mat is not gonna work. Oops. So that goes right here. Our little title area. Let's put these photos down first. I love this. And these are gonna go, these are five and a half by three and a half. So what if you don't have seagulls? Well, you have some orange paper that you're not gonna use, but the rest of it is so pretty. Or you can just, oops, the wrong tape. You can just use a little bit of it and nobody will even know it's seagulls. It is a real pretty blue. And then our little title area. And then I have two more pictures to go right here. I think like that or so. Love it looking so good these are dolphins we got to see I loved it don't you just love it then I have some This Life embellishments I want to use. I'm going to tape this down. And this could be more embellishments or you could do um, a journal box, which is probably what I'm going to do. And I have some suns and some clouds. Again, these are all from the This Life. So, you know, don't forget to combine collections as well. 
And this life is very versatile and goes with everything. Um, I need some more sun. I don't want to do flowers because that really doesn't have anything to do with my page. I do have another sun. I have another cloud. Or two. And then I want to pop this up. Love the foam squares. Lots of dimension in there. So I'm going to use this for a journal box. Let's see if I want to do any of these. I really don't think this side needs much. I do have another sun. I wonder if I have another set of words I could use. Um... How about you know, smile? Like it. We'll do it. Let's see. Do I want some of these? Is the question. Maybe with some orange to bring the orange all together. Oops. What color is that that fell off? Purple. I don't think I want purple. Maybe some blue. And this light blue. I'm really trying hard not to forget about these little enamel dots because I always have a ton left over. Oh, I already stuck the, the, that down. I'm going to pop the smile up. Again, these are all from this life. So I have some Sydney, Sydney scenes, and then this life. And we better tie this yellow in with some more orange. And one more orange, I think, over here. Okay, what do you guys think? I think it's done. I love it. I want to show you one more page, one more double page spread that I did with this collection before I let you go. Here is another page I did, which doesn't look like Sydney at all. Does it look beachy or the lake or a river? Yes. Looks like a sunset on a river in the desert or in the pine trees. You know, I love it. So, Again, I just don't want anybody to be stuck on what the collections are called because they're so pretty. Like I said, don't be stuck on the name of a collection. It's They're all so pretty. They can all be used for a variety of things. And I encourage you to check them out. You can hover over um, all the papers that we sell and you can see both sides. So if you just are on your computer and you're scrolling through the paper and you want to see the other side, just hover over that graphic and it'll show you what the flip side of the papers look like. Um, like I said, don't forget to head here if you need some Sydney. There is a link to my Creative Memories website and all the other fun we talked about earlier. I appreciate you all so much. Thanks for liking, following, sharing, subscribing, you know, all the things. And let me know if you want more information on joining my team. Love to have you. Have a good day. See you next time.